I've encountered demons. I've encountered angels. I've had the honor of seeing Jesus. I've not seen Satan, but I've seen demons. I don't even want to see him. He's a wicked spirit. Hallelujah. He has caused mayhem and trouble to many. I have seen oppression firsthand. I have seen the elderly cry. I have seen children cry. I've seen educated people cry. I have seen strong men cry because of attacks. I've seen people move from grace to grass, sometimes overnight. Overnight, like Job. Overnight, everything just went like that. But tonight, God is giving you an opportunity because the Spirit is about to be poured upon us from on high so that the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field as that 32 15 and a fruitful field be counted for a forest hallelujah you believe this and i'm saying this to you so that you don't allow any doubt in your heart what is your assignment tonight as we prepare to pray find out what is missing or wanting based on this list i will run it again and that will be your prayer that will be your cry for tonight number one for someone it is lack of goals and defined expectations for another person it is that you have wrong limiting beliefs this is what you came to correct for another person is lack of value and resourcefulness quite honestly for another person is lack of wisdom you are panting for divine direction panting for divine strategies for someone it is lack of favor with men your life has been marred by misfortune and bad luck you've not had it funny you've not had it favorable with men for someone it is lack of health many I believe lack of health and physical fitness you have the intellectual power but the health that backs your mind to help you achieve much is not there and finally for many i believe who are here tonight and the many who are following online you have come trusting god to bring an end to spiritual issues satanic molestations that have tied you tied your family tied your destiny god has given you hints in types and shadows in dreams and prophecies you've seen it through the word but whilst you are growing you may not have the capacity to help yourself for now and so he's brought you that by mercy we can offer that assistance my job is to walk in partnership with the holy spirit to offer you maximum assistance as far as your liberty and your victory is concerned yours is to believe in jesus believe in his vessel and believe in what god is able to do can we pray a few prayers Father, my destiny must make progress from this meeting, from this meeting from tonight from this encounter go ahead and pray Mention the areas that must change. Come on. Someone is praying. Father, grace to have a vision for my life, to have goals for my days. Oh, yes. You are praying. You are praying. I obtain grace to correct limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. I obtain grace to invest in value. Invest in value. To be resourceful. Spiritually resourceful. Intellectually resourceful. Someone cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for divine strategies. For another, pray for favor. Favor for a sick person who came here downcast, ill in your body. I like you to pray that I must receive my miracles tonight. The program of God depends on my participation. My destiny depends on my vitality. No room for sickness. No room for diseases. Finally, I'd like you to pray. Every demonic blockade. Every hindrance to 
my moving forward, to my going forward, to my making progress, to my advancement, to my prosperity, to my increase. I come against you. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. There are people here who are under all kinds of influences of spirits, demonic spirits, in this auditorium, across the balcony, all the overflows to the basement, outside, Zaria, those connected across all our expressions, I'm about to pray for you right now. The purpose of the prayer is to activate the power of God towards your direction. And I want you to believe that as God's power comes towards your direction, that everything that is not of God, it gives way now. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come tonight to encounter your power. I decree and I declare, please ushers, I'll ask you to bring them out very quickly so that we'll rush. I want to take some time to pray for the sick. In the name that is above all names, anyone here and any family here represented, under the influence of spirits under the influence of curses under the influence of yokes as you shout the name jesus right where you are seated in the name of jesus let that light and fire that comes from the throne let it begin to dispel every demonic work are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus Bring them out in the name of Jesus. I curse those spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every molestation, every curse that followed you here, every covenant that followed you here to destroy you, to frustrate you, I say it again, it comes under arrest. One more time, shout Jesus. Spirits of delay, delaying destinies, delaying women, delaying men. I arrest you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release your Release your destinies now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let them go. Let them go. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty every family here that does not rise it looks like when you are about to rise there are forces that sit on your destiny let the fire of the Holy Ghost let it come upon you now let it come up let it come upon you now let charms and altars be destroyed now. Let evil speakings, incantations of witchcraft against your life, against your marriage, against your family, let it be destroyed now. Bring them out. The Lord is telling me to speak to someone that the attack on your life is because you are the deliverer of your family. The attack on your life is not because of something you did wrong. It's because the devil has seen that the hand of God is coming upon you. That you are the one God is raising. I cast that spirit. Release them now. I cast that spirit. Release them now. I cast that spirit. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory. Glory. You are my glory. 
pray for those outside i'm praying for everyone but i want to pray for those outside those outside i want to pray for you there will be a mighty deliverance outside don't worry every overflow everywhere you can participate but outside those outside you are going to shout the name jesus at the count of three and i'm seeing fire falling outside there are ordinances of darkness some of them 100 years old 50 years old it was not your great grandparents came into it they met it there those outside you are going to shout the name jesus and the lord is going to be destroying the works of satan are you ready now at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus broken 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 by the power of the holy spirit every altar tying down anyone outside from the front to the back the left to the right in the name of jesus i curse it now i curse it now bring them out in the name of jesus be released now be released now you're my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision please listen and i see this many times i'm seeing a human being but i'm seeing like the head is tied like with a veil and the bible says listen there are many things that are in the head the hair which is your glory is in the head the eye which gives you direction is in the head your sense of perception is in the head your mouth that you speak and eat for nourishment is in the head so when the head is covered it's not just the head it's a revelation of the many aspects that are wrong in your life this is not for everybody but i want to pray for that person that every veil that has tied down your life and covered your glory I tear that veil now. 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to speak to a gentleman here. I may not be able to speak to many people. Our time is gone. But no one has risen in your family. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you that you are going to be called into ministry. And it is that platform that God will use to deliver your family. It will not just happen by business, ministry, actual fivefold ministry. There is a grace, that's why God brought you here, to contact the anointing that will release you into a fearful dimension of the ministry. I don't know where you are, but I pray for you, for the sake of your family. Let that grace fall on you now. Let the fire fall, let the river flow. Let it burn inside, let it flow outside, let the fire fall, let the river flow, let it burn inside and flow outside. Let the fire fall, let the fire fall, let the river flow, let it burn inside. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the name Yanagoa. 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 I don't know who is from there. That should be what state now? Huh? By Elsa. Yanagoa. Is there someone like that? You are from that place. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing there is a strong impartation that God is bringing. You are from Yanagoa. Who is that person? I want to pray. You are stepping into a season. Let them come. 
you are from there my dear come careful let the fire fall ah, someone's life is about to change you see let me tell you something with prophecy honestly when god locates you bar just know that your problem has come to an end yenagoa please make sure okay there are protocol there that's, that's please bring them okay well i would just can you bring them to the front here there's still space so that they don't um yenagoa i will pray for you why god calls the names of states and regions it's a miracle it's supernatural but i'm about to pray because i'm seeing an altar from yenagoa that has tied down many people they can't rise it doesn't matter where they travel to they still remain on the ground but in the name of jesus the son of the living god hence god has located you this night i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead every covenant and every altar tying your destiny those of you in front here be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost every enchantment every divination every witchcraft that has tied you down from Yenagoa I release you now I release you now I release you now stopping marriages I release you now stopping fruitfulness I release you now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you if there is anything you have seen as a pattern you saw it in the life of your parents now it's manifesting in your life and you are a child of God poverty failure hardship they go up and go down as I'm praying for them I'm praying for you any pattern around your life you are seeing a repetition of somebody's life it's as if you are living someone else's life I break it now 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 Kateka parata kabaladaba Kambre teka teka labakaya Soto prakata teka prakata prakata Hold your hands and pray in the spirit just for five minutes, please. All the instruments coming. Pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us have not yet submitted to the Lordship. You have given your heart to the Lord. That's true. But you have not come under His influence. Tonight, you are going to pray and say, Lord, I willingly submit to your authority, to your government. Pray and watch the wonder. Watch the wonder of what you begin to happen in your life. Inside and outside, make sure you're praying. Stop up and yell about the cost. Second, they get the boat. Rabbo Sabata, Papa, and the Bernadia. Lord, I submit the Papa Sakata to your governing and Rabbo Santa, the Bernadia, the Prado Sabaria, the Bako, the Bernadia. Lord, I submit to your mighty hand. I submit to Sakapata. I submit to the Bernadia. Rabo sapata na baya bada 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 
Hallelujah. Listen, the centurion surprised Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a revelation that touched him. Jesus said, let's go to your house. He said, no, you don't need to go. For I am a man under authority. I'm under the authority of the Roman government. And by reason of being under that authority, I tell one, go, and he will go. I'll tell the other, come. And Jesus said, what? I've not seen this kind of faith, this kind of revelation in Israel. Submit yourself to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil. Hallelujah. 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 In the next five minutes, I like you. I don't know how you are going to pray. Leave your hands. Praise God. I know we are men of prayer. Listen, you have been confronting darkness, but you try it now in the name. You, you see the revelation? David met Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spears, but I come to you in a name. In a name. You come to me with bow and arrow. I mean, I may be small, but there is a name. An office. I invoke the power of an office. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what the Lord is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. What is it that he cannot do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. The God of wonders that can change situations. That is too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues that have been affecting your life and your family in the next five minutes tell it I confront you in the name that sickness in the name come on prayer warriors come on prayer warriors we confront in the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in His temple. The Lord is in His temple. The situation in my family is changing. Is changing. Is changing. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command healing. I command miracles. Command your marriage Command your prayer life Come alive Confront your unemployment issue Confront your business Confront your family I come in the name I come in the name 
I told him the name. Set a dead Lord. The Lord rebuke you. 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 Let tongues fall. Let miracles occur. Let testimonies occur. Lord, I release breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, you are going to say, I take my eyes away from every challenge. Whatever the devil has used to discredit God in my life. Are you hearing me? There are many of us that cannot trust God. Because of the things that have happened Or the things that are happening The Bible says Abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief He considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb Although she was close to a hundred years He counted him faithful Faithful God cannot lie Satan can be tired Your faith can weary the devil Listen Right now, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say, I take my eyes away. I don't care what is not working or what is working. God, you are faithful and your word must come to pass. You are not a man. Come on, lift your faith. Lift your voice and pray. I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. Let me say Christ in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The job will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faith filled generation. Koyonia is a place of faith. Rekoto They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. Thou cannot be shaken, but abide forevermore. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I see a lot of testimonies coming. Mighty testimonies. Believe me, mighty testimonies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The last prayer point. I'm led for us to do this. Hallelujah. 
you're going to hold hands with somebody. If you can pair yourselves into three, that will be excellent. You are going to pray for the finances of the people in that circle. Provoke the heavens to be open. That Lord, in this month, if, if there are not enough people, just hold two or three, anybody. Come on, pray now. We command it. We command it. In the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies. Breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies. Pray. It will happen. Pray. It will work. Pray. He spoke a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Visit families, oh God. Visit your people in mighty ways. Visit your people in miraculous ways. Prophesy, Gentiles, come to your light, kings, to the brightness of thy rising. Your gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. You will call on one person, and a nation will answer you. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen, brothers and sisters, you do not do good to your loved ones if you carry all this revelation and not work with it. It has nothing to do with MOG. It's about being an ambassador, an envoy of his presence. Now you know that you are not ordinary. It's not just the issue of confessing it. It is the truth. It is your present reality. No matter how weak you think you are, our job here is to make you become strong. The Bible says ordinary men came to the cave of Adullam and David made mighty men out of them. Hallelujah. You are not ordinary. There is an anointing upon you. There is an unction. Walk conscious of it. It should not create pride and arrogance. You are like a dove. But where you see the devil, you switch and you become a roaring lion. Listen, I'm giving you an assignment this week. Take on a project. Resist the devil everywhere you see him. Are you getting my point? If you look at yourself alone and all the revelations you have alone, you are small. Are you getting my point? But realize there is an authority. Every time you stand before situations, just know that I am small. But there is one who is mightier than I. This, is, this was a testimony of John the Baptist. There is one who is mightier than I. Invoke his presence to the scene and go to bed. When you go home, all those spirits that come to molest and press you, you tell them now, I sleep in the name. Come and press me. Yes. Absolutely. I told you my story. I was being oppressed by devils. Although a preacher, because I did not understand the revelation. The Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Hallelujah. I don't drive devils from me. 
when I caught the revelation, I went home and I shouted. I said, the spirits that oppress me, I invite you this night. They were officially invited. Until tomorrow, they have not come. Never. Look, realize this. Just as Father Abraham and the rich man, there was a gulf that divided them. Revelation is what will exalt you. Are you getting my point? Anything in your life that is not working, as little as anything, hallelujah, you find something growing in your hand that should not grow. Don't just laugh. See, the problem is many of us are not convicted enough. So you get ashamed once you go outside of this circle. You don't want to look like you are a spirit coco. That's the problem. So we can jump. There are many of us here that you behave as if you are convinced. But the sincere truth is if you walk out of here, you are ashamed of everything you were shouting and praying about. And when it takes, it, it comes to taking steps of faith. Even when your phone rings and it's a scripture, you answer it or off it quickly. Lest you be embarrassed. Do you think that God did not know what to do with his time? And he just brought men in the earth to deceive them. But I know whom I have believed. I'm persuaded. Any day, any time. On jeans, on trousers, on suit, I am persuaded. I would die believing this revelation. Hallelujah. Please be convinced. Listen, many of us in all sincerity, we don't spend time with the word of God. There are many of us after today now is until next Friday again before you open your Bible and start smiling. You see, ba, brothers and sisters, this thing, you can't fake it. If you are not doing it genuinely, it will show. Are you getting my point? No, this is not one of the things you fake. You can't fake conviction. No. You can't fake conviction. You can play games with power. You can do a lot of things. But you cannot fake conviction. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe. It's part of the things that we do all the time. I wrote a post and I gave the media to put it on Facebook. I am not on Facebook, but once in a while as the Holy Spirit puts it in my heart. I write these prayers and they are not just to get activities. No. Hallelujah. It's our job to speak over your life. Listen, there is power in the blessing. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know to bless means to empower you to prosper, to rise from where you are. He said, blessed be Abraham, son of the most high, possessor of the heavens and earth, and his destiny opened up. Please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless you with the favor of God. I declare over your life that you are well favored. You are like a well watered garden. Whatever looks like mockery in your life, I curse it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over the works of your hands. I instruct them to prosper. I instruct them to prosper. Whatever project you are having, I speak to it. Grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, I command it to grow. I speak and I pray over your life. All the destiny help us that are required to take you and to lift your hand and to introduce you to those who will take you to the next level. I call them into your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the name works for you. The same anointing you see in this house 
carry it and do wonders with it. Change destinies. Affect lives. Heal sick bodies. The same way the devil runs here, he will run in every area of your life. I speak over your life. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you anoint is anointed. Whatever your hand touches, it prospers. I bless you above every curse. I bless you above every limitation. I prophesy, let Reuben live. Whatever is dead in your life, whether in your organs, in your system, whatever should be there and is not there, we create it now. 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 Whatever should not be in your body and is in your body at this moment as I speak, I command it to live now. And never return again. I bless your finances. We are a prosperous people. And I declare that prosperity follows you. You are blessed in your health. Your mind is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom is at work in your life. You are men and women of character. You are men and women of power. You hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. You are men of faith. You are women of faith. Return with amazing testimonies. Whoever has mocked at your God, I pray this night that may the God I serve, may He step in like a warrior in your life and surprise they that have mocked God in your life. Whoever has laughed at your Christianity, I pray, except it is not the God of heaven that wrote, that inspired the writing of this word. I pray right now, be lifted above your equals. May they see your lifting. You do not merit it, but let the grace of God take you. May the grace of God take you. I command the words of your mouth from today may they carry power you will solve problems with your mouth as you speak it you will see it I prophesy as you speak it you will see it the Bible says and God said it and he saw and he said and he saw as you say may you see Hallelujah. I agree with you right now. Whatever you have fasted and fasted and prayed about, in the name that is above all names, I introduce the faith of the Son of God in your situation. And I compel that mountain to fall now. That dagon that attempts to speak against your life, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command that dagon, that devil, you bow now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And any man that wants to molest your life, whether as an armed robber, as wicked, see, listen, can I tell you something? I don't believe in killing people. But the prayer I'm about to pray is dangerous. I don't care who, right now, whoever is tying down your life and destiny. Hear me. This night, if I be a servant of God, I don't care who. The judgment of God, this night, locates that one and brings them to book. Now, now, I don't care who. In the mighty name of Jesus, whoever says you will not go, he will go for you now. Whoever says you will not live, he will die for your sake. Whoever says you will not prosper, I curse their word. I curse their prophecy. I shared with you about the mystery of wickedness. Let me tell you, wickedness is real. 
wickedness exist. I'm praying again this night. I whoever has vowed that is not with his eyes, he will see your progress. This night, this night I pray, just as an angel of death went round Egypt, I command, let there be shiftings. I don't care who, I don't care where, I release judgment, 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 this night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. But when Satan finds people who, when God blesses them, it doesn't change it. The devil says, how do we throw these people down? See, the devil is thinking, of, while you are sleeping, he's not sleeping. They are just meeting and saying, for God's sake, how are we going to put Aaron down? As in the middle of the discussion, then you wake up. You just felt like ventilating your spirit by one o'clock in the night. And you are shaking the car keys, meaning it does not matter. The car keys didn't change anything. Rise up on your feet. Let's close. Come on, let's begin to pray in the spirit. We have a passion, passion. to see his kingdom come. Pray. Say Lord to see your kingdom come. It's my desire to be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Your prayer is an internal investment for yourself, for your family, for your church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three prayer points and we're out of here. Number one is a prayer of gratitude. You're going to say, Lord, I never saw your love in this light. Now I know you care about me. How can I kill myself? Suicide? What for? Rekete kotopraka. Say Lord, I thank you for your love. So protect Thank you for your love. In spite of myself, in spite of my limitations, in spite of my shortcomings, thank you, thank you for loving me enough to seek me. Oh yes, thank you because you are not a man. Thank you because you are not a religious person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to say, Lord, I receive grace to contribute in whatever way that will show you that I love you and I'm interested in your agenda. Whatever way. By casting out devils, by financing the kingdom, by getting men saved, by getting them filled with the Holy Ghost, by praying for preachers, by praying for pastors, by not gossiping about people, whatever contribution, no matter how little, I receive grace, 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 of God, 
dead men feel in the Holy Ghost when they produce Christ. Whatever contribution to God, I receive praise. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, can I tell you something? Look at me. Do you know how desperate Jesus is to see his kingdom come? To see souls say, no matter how little you contribute, you will hear him telling you, thank you. I know not everybody is interested. You are going to pray and say, every demonic hole that attempts to shift me away from the things of God, lukewarm spirit, bad friends, Bad association, be far from my life. Open your mouth and pray. Every deceit, Satan, come on, pray. Outside, pray. Rain go to Jacob. I'm made of my mind. I'm made of my mind. I'm made of my mind. No going back. Money or no money. No going I am committed to see your kingdom come with my finances, with my anointing, with my voice. You have given your best. I will give my best. Hallelujah. Why should I not put a gospel ringtone? Why should I put junk music in my phone? Why should I be afraid to wear a shirt that says I'm a kingdom addict? Why should I be ashamed to preach Jesus Christ? Because the lady is fine? Or because the guy is handsome? Or I don't want to be embarrassed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take it down again. Hallelujah. Next week I'm going to teach you a song. This song came while I was in Kaduna. You gave your everything. I give my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Listen, it's a simple song. You have my everything. You have my everything. Lord, you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Let's try one more time. You have my everything. 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 You have my Take all of me. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. The hunger chief, he held. That's why I did it in your presence. Is the name. Say not in your heart. Who will go and bring him from heaven? He is closer to you 
this is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. Unbelief. So you can be, listen, you can say Jesus, Jesus, nothing will happen. The next thing I want you to know is what is really this name? Let's examine it. What is the name? We have said what the name can do. But what is the name? Look up please. I want to shock you. Listen. The name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. Listen. The Bible says, Isaiah speaking. He said, you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said, that will be his name. The name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said, they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya Sata Kabarata Makapakata Teketa Kadeka Seka Pata Beka Mambrosko Pekata Lia Baba 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 Seke Prosta Bariata Soko Topa Sopadiata Empeketeka in the name I come 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 Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new realm. A new dimension. You don't have to set it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. I want to explain something to you. Listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when I tell you all men are not equal. We are equal in Christ. But something has separated people. The Bible says there are some bodies terrestrial, some celestial. Not everybody you see is the same. It's not pride. This is why we are bringing us higher. I tell you the truth. You will shake hell. This is how you will live as if Satan does not exist. You are coming in the name. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. Zeka kapata katabalada bakate basi. Zende brato shalamai. God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. 
Sabakata lada kataposha. Zida kataya. Breakthroughs are already happening. Deliverances are happening. Believe it. Deliverances are happening. I give the chains falling. Shakata baladaba. Strongholds. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command every coffee to and fall now. Every sickness, go. Every infirmity, go. 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 Every yoke. Every disease. I hear the chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Let me show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. And let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Let hope rise. was the same person that ministered the same person that seemed many of you do not understand the power in the name Jesus didn't lie to us believe me that name is powerful that name is powerful every demon and every spirit just the symbol in this place right now Every foul devil at the count of three, I come in the name. Go, 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 go. Every spirit, every demon, every devil, I command you in the name. Go out, out. You will not return again. Go, go. He said in his name, we will cast out demons. I cast out demons now in that name. Go, go, go. I take a baba baba baba. Break.
every problem you have come here with tonight it leaves you here now every problem you came here with I don't care what it is in the name in the name it will bow now every problem every problem every challenge health Jesus Please sit down if you can We have to finish this Please sit down Sit down Kadabala katabrondo sotola kosha Sit down if you can. If they can't sit down, just leave them, please. We have to hurry up. I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you. The goal is not to watch a man of God do this. The goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now. Take that name. Go and dislodge powers in your house. Let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion. Without a demonstration of the kingdom, they will doubt you. Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special Supernatural About the name Jesus Something happens When I mention Your name Listen God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's talk about Luke chapter 9 verse 23 to 24. Jesus says, Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. Surrender your fears doubts and worries to God. Let go of control and trust in His sovereignty. Romans 12, 1-2 also says, Offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Surrender your will to God's will. Have you ever sat out to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? Why am I afraid to let go of? What am I afraid to let go of? Ask yourself, Hold your heart, think and ponder on this. But all together, I just want to encourage us that we should surrender to God. Surrender everything, your plans, your heart, everything that has to do with you. What are you holding on to? I want to encourage, I want to bring it to you that you should surrender your everything, your all to God. There is beauty in surrendering all to God. And I pray that as we surrender our all to God, our decisions in our every aspect of our lives, that we will find freedom in His embrace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, we believe that you were truly blessed by this message from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. We believe that you were truly, truly blessed. So I want to encourage that you go back on this video, watch it over and over again for a better understanding. 
Meditate on it. Pray with the word. Don't just be hearers alone, but hearers and doers of God's word. Let what we've listened to, what less what we've watched, let it reflect in our life positively. And as we do all of that, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. As we reflect all of this in our life, as we live an exemplary life, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Yeah, don't forget to drop a like. And don't forget to also drop your thoughts in the comment section, your prayer requests, your opinions, your, um, your thoughts. Yes, they are all welcome in the comment section. Just drop it in the comment section. And for your prayer requests, after you drop them, we pray that as we join our hearts and our faith together to pray with you, the Lord Almighty will bless and grant answers to us in Jesus' name. Amen. If you haven't subscribed to Reflector Hub TV yet, please do so by hitting on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell. So all of the videos that will be posted here on Reflector Hub TV, you will be notified about them. Welcome for those of us that are just coming across Reflector Hub TV. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this video. Also share with a friend, a family, a loved one, a colleague at work. Just share it with someone. This might be a blessing to someone somewhere. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much and stay blessed.